Hi everyone, welcome to Medicinal Note YouTube channel. Here we are going to see about gangrene. Gangrene refers to a death of a body tissue or necrosis, it is collectively known as necrosis, due to either lack of blood flow or serious bacterial infection. The gangrene refers to a death of body tissue, uh, death of a body tissue due to blood flow or serious bacterial infection. Gangrene commonly affects extremities including finger, limbs and toes, but it can occur in muscle and internal organ also. This results in black color foul smelling. There are three types of gangrene. Dry gangrene, wet gangrene, gas gangrene. Actually it is two type. The gas gangrene is a type of wet gangrene. Dry gangrene. It occurs most commonly in people who have arterial blood vessel disease such as arteriosclerosis or people who have diabetes. It, le it may lead to infraction. The infracted part get dried up and followed by mummification. Again, there are three types of the gangrene, dry, wet and gas gangrene. The dry gangrene, it occurs most commonly in people who have arterial blood vessel diseases such as arteriosclerosis or the people who have diabetes. It may lead to infraction, the infracted part get dried up and followed by mummification. The causes are the obliterated, arteries are obliterated, obliterated means disappeared. This leads to infraction and gangrene of the food. The Berger's disease affect the blood vessels in the body, mostly arms and legs. This affect the blood vessels in the body, most commonly in arms and legs. The blood vessels swell which prevent blood flow. Due to the swelling of the blood vessels, the blood flow is not proper to the arms and legs, causing clot and this causes pain and tissue damage and gangrene. There is no blood supply due to the clot. So, it, this is known as Burgess disease. Reynolds disease A condition where a smaller arteries that supply blood to the skin constrict. The smaller arteries which supply blood to the skin constrict. So, there is a gangrene formation. There is less blood supply. So, there is a gangrene formation. Or the obliteration of the vein in the upper arm leading to infraction and gangrene fingers. There is an obliteration of the vein in the upper arm. So, it leads to the infraction or gangrene fingers. And it is usually initiated one of the toes, which is farthest from the blood supply. Where, when the blood supply is farthest, it is far away. It is actually from the toes. There is the gangrene formation takes place first there is the gangrene formation takes place slowly it reaches the point where the blood supply is adequate to keep the tissue viable morphology of dry gangrene gross appearance the gangrenous area is dry dark and shriveled up shriveled up means shrunken wrinkled as result in loss of moisture the grass appearance, the morphology of the dry gangrene is, we are going to see about the grass appearance. The gangrene area is dry, dark and shriveled up. The meaning of shriveled up is wrinkled results in loss of moisture. Why it is black? Why it is dark in color? It is black due to liberation of hemoglobin from hemolyzed RBC which is acted upon the hydrogen disulfide and produces any bacteria resulting the formation of black iron sulfide. It is black due to liberation of the hemoglobin from the hemolyzed RBC. When the RBCs are hemolyzed, the hemoglobin is released which is acted upon the hydrogen disulfide. This hemoglobin is acted upon the hydrogen disulfide and produces a bacteria resulting in formation of black iron sulfide. A distinct red line of demarcation is seen between the dead and the living area. There is a red line which distinguishes between the necrosed 
which is distinguished between the necrosed or gangrene part as well as the living tissue. The line of demarcation is seen in the dry gangrene. Wet gangrene usually develops due to the blockage of venous blood flow. This wet gangrene is another type of the gangrene. This usually develops in the blockage of blood flow. The tissue undergoes coagulative necrosis. The gangrene is referred to wet if there is a bacterial infection in the affected tissue. The gangrene is described to as wet when there is a bacterial infection in the affected tissue. In the affected part, there is any bacterial uh, infection which leads to wet gangrene which is known as wet gangrene. The affected part turns soft, swallow and moist. The site of infection. In which site this wet gangrene occurs? Hand, leg, intestine, appendix, lung and pressure point. Causes diabetic food example of the wet gangrene. This diabetic food is an example of a wet gangrene due to high sugar content. In the diabetic patient, there is high sugar content. Due to the high sugar content, the necrosed tissue which favors the growth of the bacteria which leads to putrefication and gangrene. Bed sores. Prolonged bed rest in the bedridden patient such causes pressure effect at buttock scarum most commonly seen in scarum. The pressure causes ischemia, infraction and gangrene. Morphology of wet gangrene Grossly, there is no clear demarcation between the gangrene and the living area. But in dry gangrene, there is a clear line of demarcation which is in red in, red in color. There is a clear line of demarcation between the gangrenous area and the living area. The gangrenous area are soft, swallow, putrid, putrid rotten and dark these are soft swallow putrid rotten and dark now we are going to see about the third type which is gas gangrene gas gangrene is caused by gas forming organism like clostridia perfringens the, this clostridia perfringens i have already uploaded a video separate video in the playlist of microbiology please do see it the gas gangrene typically affect deep part of the muscle tissue. The bacterial infection produced by the bacterial bacteria is toxin and that releases a gas. So it is called gas gangrene. A gas gangrene is caused by gas forming organism like Clostridium perfringens. The, ga the gas gangrene typically affect the deep part of the muscle tissue. It mostly affects the deep part of the muscle tissue and the bacterial infection produced by the bacteria is by the toxin and that releases the gas. This bacterial infection produced by this uh, bacteria is by a toxin which a bacteria produces the toxin which leads to the results in the formation of gas. So it is known as gas gangrene. Site of infection in traumatic wound, military accident, colon and rectum. It is infected by clostridia from the feces or the soil. Causes This is caused to immunocompromised patient, diabetic patient like because the high blood sugar is prone to clostridia infection. Malnourishment High HIV infection. Morphology. The affected part is swollen, edematous and crepitant due to accumulation of gas bubble in the tissue. It is blackish in color and foul smelling. Microscopically, it is affected part undergo coagulative necrosis with liquefaction. Large number of gram positive bacillin are seen. The difference between the dry gangrene and wet gangrene. The site is commonly in limbs dry gangrene, wet gangrene mostly in bowel. Mechanism atrial occlusion, venous obstruction, 
turn macro macroscopically the organ it we look in the naked eye it just looks like dry stunken and black here the moist swallow rotten and dark the putrefaction limited due to very less blood supply mark mark due to stuffing of organ with blood it is seen prominently the putrefaction is seen prominently due to the stuffing of organ with blood line of demarcation present it is not clearly seen bacteria fail to survive numerous are present thank you for more videos please do subscribe like and share and comment